cent. Did you honestly mean to take an ancient and withered power like this and turn it against me? You are a foolish traitor, Mithna. Why did you defy your king? My king! You, who do you... Th you who do nothing but abuse the magic of your tribe. You must be joking. How dare you? Are you implying that my power is our old magic? Now that is a joke. This power is granted to me by my god. It is the magic of the king of twilight and you will respect it. My Midna, did you forget that Beast is one of the light dwellers who oppressed our people? No matter how much you may desire otherwise, you will never be more than a shadow in their world. You cannot consort with their kind. But if we can make their world ours, Midna, light and darkness will meet at last. Our tribe will take back their realm and sweet darkness will blot out this harsh light and that is why I need you not just for me but for all of our people let me your power So be it. I will return you to the light world you covet. Link, hero chosen by the goddesses. Go to the princess locked away in the castle. That princess holds the key that can unlock your fruit from your shadow form. Hello everyone, this is Pepper 580. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we completed the temple, the Lakebed Temple. In this episode, we're trying to get Midna to Princess Zelda. As you saw, Sant, who thinks he is the King of Twilight, tried to banish Midna from the Twilight Realm into the light world, forcing her. And now, Mithna is ill and about to die. The music in here, called Mithna's Lament, Mithna's Desperate Struggle, Mithna's Desperation, whatever you want to call it, because there's a lot of controversy in what the name is. I 
think it's really sad. It's a really touching moment to the game. It really puts a lot of emotion into it. Yes, that is it. We are back to our wolf form while our imp friend, who was all with us so much time, is dying. So, as you remember, Toma told us there is a passageway through here. So let's try to enter. Beast, get out! And we get thrown out. As we cannot go through there. You there. You're a link, correct? The little kitty cat that was with Talma. Hmm, yes, I thought so. I could just tell, you know. I'm Louise. Do you remember meeting me in this shop before? Though I don't think we were properly introduced. In any case, I must tell you, I'm a bit puzzled as to why you look like that. Really, dear, you can't blame the humans for tossing you out the way you look. Oh, another patient? You certainly are a curious sort. Please, please, Princess Zola. This way. Here, getting through the window. The attic is connected to the castle's waterway. It's an old waterway, though, so it could be a rough trip. Well, I suppose all that's left to do is make sure that the humans don't notice me. Of course, we have to push this thing a little bit in order to get up. But there's no time to miss, so we want to help. We have to help Mitten get through this. We enter Thomas' bar through a window and end up in the attic. There it is. So we want come over here and use the tide drops to cross. You can actually listen to what people are saying. The elder to told me to escort Toma, but this city air does not suit my skin. <laughs> oh no 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 no, don't fall. You can hear their personal problems like this. Listen to Toma. How it's come to this, huh? Monsters walking in the streets of town. What in the world are the soldiers of Hyrule doing? The Gorns are so much more reliable than they are. It's not even funny. And she is smiling while she says it. Mm -hmm. Zigzag through here, and you can listen to these guys too. I heard that an acquaintance of Thomas defeated the beast that had been attacking tourists on the bridge. His name was Link. It sounds as though he brought Thelma and her young ward to Kakariko village. And here I was, thinking Hyrule was empty of men of Valor. Oh no, I don't believe he's from Hyrule proper at all. No, my understanding is that he's from the small neighbor, neighbor, neighboring province of Ardona. Sorry, my reading is not so good. This may sound horribly elegant, but people who do not know the city simply do not know fear. Hmm. I do not agree with you. And someone lied. We're not in the castle. And there is a weird thing over there. Use your senses and you can see this new enemy. This is called, this is called an impo. Attack it. Twice. And finish it off. And you get its soul. Post soul. With that, we're trapped in this place. So let's talk to this guy. Whoa, it talks? It, I thought it was a statue. Oh, the thanks for be beating the ghost. Can I call you Donkey? I'm Jabani. I became consumed by greed long ago and sold my soul to a dark creature that did this to me. I can't move. I can't go see my girlfriend. My pet, can, my pet cat Jingle is frozen on my head. I don't think I could be more miserable. I have to ask you a favor, doggy. Can you find and defeat the 20 ghosts that lurk in the dark for me? 
I think if you can free the pieces of my soul from the ghosts that hold them, I'll be free. Oh, but it's raining out now, so I don't think you can go outside directly. I'll open the door to the underground waterway for you. So... That's right, this is the way to the castle. Once the rain stops, you can come back in here by digging around the front wall where the cats gather. Understood, doggy? So this is another house in Clock Town that we could not enter. Now we can. Drop down. And down we go. We're back in the waterway, but now it's not the Twilight Realm. If you remember correctly this place, I'm just going to insert it. Oh, you see the rats, I remember this place. Of course, uh, we came through here, if you remember. Let's go. This, I think this is another part of the sewers, not the same. Sorry. Fuse right there. You cannot use your B power, so you're dependent on your own. Okay. And once more, there we go. This is Cultalis for the price of one. And now here you want to get up one, and you're gonna get this torch up when I go running. Well, you cannot run because you are have this in your hand. Oh, mouth. You want to light up all of the candles, torches, things. Don't mind the keys if you don't want. No, don't throw it. Please get away from me. Jesus. And here's the third. And I think we do have to fight the keys off. Um or we miss the candle. Torch, whatever this is. I just keep calling them candles. I don't know why. Oh come on. One, two, three over there. Number four should be. Oh, it's up there. Oh, crap, this thing goes out so quickly. Oh, come on. There we go. No. There we go. So we want to get up here. And up here. There we go. And it came out again? Okay, now we can dash. Ball win, we'll die. And you just dig right here. And we will be...